feeling the effects of this marathon. Adinho is waiting in the centre. So is Zico here. And Bats does enough again. Alamau is still on the ground on the far side of the penalty area for Brazil. Front break with Platini. Silas and Kareka and still Kareka and he's gone past Batistón and Socrates has missed an open goal I can't believe this Socrates never looked like getting in position to put that in the net it only needed a side foot but look at him a tired man falling over before the ball came but we have seen here one of the most dramatic incidents in the whole history of the World Cup, proving that the referee has made, I will feel, an extreme mistake. It proves also that the laws of the game are not sufficient to cover for this incident, because that is a goal for France, or should be at least a penalty. Because it took place outside the area, the referee couldn't give a penalty, but who would believe he would give nothing? And who would believe that the goalkeeper wouldn't get the yellow card? Or even the red one? I mean, that's, as you said, France were in the semi-finals there for a split second. Here's Ballon, the man who was involved. It was a lovely ball by Platini that put him through, and he was onside. Bossis for France. Can they do it this time? Still Bossis. Well, Carlos, the goalkeeper, must be the luckiest man in football at this moment. And the French, the most disappointed. And the unluckiest, the referee, because he's spoiled there in an incident that will be talked about throughout the world, the, his better performance throughout that game. Yes, it ranks with the decision in the first match here when the referee from Australia disallowed the goal by Michel. Brazil were lucky on that occasion, and they're even luckier here today.